Yeah, you're waking up. I was worried that I got the dose wrong. You've been out for a while. Yeah, no, no, no. You're okay. You're safe and sound. Shh. Oh dear, oh dear. It's worse than I thought. Oh, darling. You're gagged. I couldn't risk someone hearing you. Please don't strain too much. We don't want you to hurt your precious voice. Shh. There we go, little kitten. Oh, all right. I won't pet you so much. You still have to get used to those nerves. It's going to take a while for you to get used to all the new changes. Uh, don't worry about the ropes or the gag. I'll be untying you soon. No kitten should be bound as you've been. I wish I didn't have to, but it was necessary. You were panicking before I drugged you, and I knew that you'd hurt yourself if you weren't careful. Uh, for now, just take a second to breathe. Just breathe. Very good, my dear. Relax. Uh, get a feel for your new senses. Everything feels a little new, doesn't it? Yeah, you've noticed. I got a few things for you. A new mirror, desk, and a chair. Oh, yeah. They look a bit smaller to you, don't they? Well, we'll get to that. Here, let me get these ropes off of you. There. Your wrists and legs are, for the most part, free. Yes, I had to buy a manacle and chain for your ankle. It's affixed to the wall, there. I know, kitten, I know. I want to trust you enough to let you out soon, but right now, we can't. In the meantime, how about you hop off the bed and stretch your legs a little? Ah. <sighs> Look at you. You've noticed. Yes. You're a bit shorter than you were when you were human. Uh, just a little, not much. Just around 30 centimeters. Yeah. Before, you were taller than me. But now, I'm just a bit taller than you. <laughs> no. That pout is so cute, my darling kitten. Hey, baby, smile for me. Oh, just do it. I have a point in asking. Oh, there we go. Look at those pretty fangs. Yep, sharp and oh so cute. Oh, look at how you're blushing. Oh, don't pout. Yeah. Shh, love. I know, I know. It's a lot to get used to. And... I know that the ankle manacle is annoying, but how about this? In a week, how about I take it off and I teach you how to use magic? Mm-hmm. Really? Now, the sort of spell that I performed on you to transform you into a Neko is quite complicated, but you can do simple stuff as well. For example, you can make ice like this. Or, you can make blue fire. It's literally endless. I'll teach you how to defend yourself while we're both safe and comfortable. Sound fair? There's a good little kitten. I'll be right back with some food for you. You must be starving. Just relax a little. Get used to how your new ears and tail feel. See you soon. Hey, darling, I brought your food. Mm-hmm. I told you that I'd cook some food for you this time around. 
It's salmon, along with some steamed vegetables with melted butter, rice and beans, some toast, and some water. It's something my mother used to cook for me when I was small. I want to see how you like it. You need your energy, kitten. So please eat. I'll answer all your questions when you're done. I hope that you didn't mind me changing you out of your old clothes and into that nightshirt. All your old stuff didn't fit quite as well after the change. I had to work pretty hard last night to find something suitable in the interim between when you first fell asleep and when you awoke. But on the upside, I'm employed at long last. I'm a courier now, for a shipping company. It's not glamorous, but it'll work for now. Pay's generous, too, so you no longer have to work. Just let me treat you, my dear. <laughs> You're really attacking that salmon, aren't you? I hope I cooked it just right for you. Uh, don't worry about it. Your tastes are going to shift around a lot as you get used to your new form. Uh, kind of like how some people who hated mushrooms growing up grow to like them. I personally still kind of hate mushrooms, though. Well done. You scarfed it down pretty quickly. How do you feel? Full. <laughs> Let me run these down to the kitchen. When I get back, we'll talk a bit more, okay, kitten? Hey there. So, you have questions for me. I figured you did. Uh, shoot. Oh, why didn't I use magic when you first met me? Well, to cast magic, you need energy. It's kind of hard to cast magic when you're starving. Oh, why did I turn you into a Neko? I was selfish. I wanted you to be like me. I know that. I know that I shouldn't have, especially with how the world treats Nekos. It's not like there aren't any upsides. Casting magic is easier, your lifespan is a little longer, but... But I know none of it is an excuse for what I did. I just hope that one day you can forgive me. But don't get it twisted. Now that it's done, I'm glad. I know I shouldn't be, and I know that it makes me a bad person to be, but I am. Now that I've said and done all this, you probably regret taking me in from the rain and the cold and the hunger. Your silence tells me everything I need to know. I've got some work in about an hour. Is there anything I can get for you before I go? No? Oh, okay. Well, there's some water under your bed, as well as some soda. Don't go through all of it at once, okay, kitten? Okay. See you when I get home. I... I love you. <laughs> 